Okay, so usually, um, um, people film their favorites of the year, like, at the end of the, at the end of the, um, at the end of the old year, and at the start of the new year, but, um, I kind of wanted to wait till the new year, because one of the, the last book I finished this year was, is really high on this list, so, um, because I kind of wanted to do that. So, just my favorites. I'm not sure how many. I just grabbed a bunch of books I like this year. And, um, these are all good books. This was, so, my ranking is not really going to matter. Um, well, how, where I would put them. My top, my, I come in at number 10 is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Um, I really love this book. It was the best of the original Chronicles of Narnia. And it really stepped it up from the last two. And it wasn't just, it didn't all just, um, um, kind of go into a, like a battle. It was a ship. It was a ship ride. And it was really fun. To go on. Next one. Um, this is standing in for Tower of Nero because I lent it up to friends and I'm um, gonna get it back pretty soon. But um, this is this is Tower of Nero. I don't, I don't have the book right now, but um, I really love Tower of Nero. Um, it was a really great book and um. I had so much good things to say about it. Um, it really made a perfect end to the series um, at hand, and it came out in October. I love that. Um, next, per Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince. These are um, um, this is a really good book. My favorite book in the Harry Potter series. Um, really set up for the finale. I like this one more than the finale because I don't know, like the, the connection between Dumbledore here and then like he dies. It's spoiler alert, but that's pretty obvious. Um, old series. Um, and I just think it was a very good representation of just like Snape, like just like he finds a book and like gets a lot, lot, lots of good reviews from Ben. Um. Next one was my favorite Chronicle of Narnia, and I gave this one a lot of praise in my review. Last Battle. Um, this one kind of felt, I just said it back in my review, it felt like the Avengers, like, they all went together. And, um, they fight this, and, like, the monkey, the monkey, you, um, it gets you really hate this villain. The monkey, or, monkey and the donkey, um, and... Um, it gets, like, it has the best villain, and it has all our old characters in it, and it gives us one final send-off, um, and it's a great Narnia book, and totally recommend. Um, next one is Hero of Ages. I really loved this book. Um, it kind of perfect wrap-off, and very end-to-end, -end, it just kind of lasts at you staring at the page for a long time. I read this really quickly, and, um... I don't know, it just had this like kind of feel to it and I really love the Mistborn books and their vibes. I think the the first one has a totally different vibe than the second two, in my opinion, but they're both good. They're not like better or worse. It's just the different feeling that I really liked. I really enjoyed them. Yeah, so Hero of Ages coming in at at number five. Um the next book I have is Loki, Where Mischief Lies. Um, loved this book. I read this on a beach trip, finished it really quickly. Um, it was like a Marvel, like like a spinoff of when Loki was a teenager. I have, my review was from forever ago when I reviewed this. Um, but I did say how much I loved it and I read the chart before my birthday. Um, but it was a really good book, you know. You can just see, like, the progress, and, like, they have, like, justification. Their villains are very interesting. The setting was amazing. My favorite part of this book was the setting, whenever, like, with their, um, old England, which is really nice. Um, and it had a lot of, like, depth to it. Next one, the original Mistborn. Um, I loved Mistborn. Mistborn was great. Um, everything that they could have done right for this, they did. Um, Kelsier was a great character. I mean, they killed him off really well. 
um, like Ben was very hardworking and she didn't get all her power just because and but she did defeat a defeat a Miss Bourne in this book um, and it really kicked off the Miss Bourne universe because I know the many errors this is only error one I am pretty soon I have a review just for all of Arrow 1 coming out um just yeah so you know. number two and I have so much praise for this book Way of Kings I love this book very huge book this is so far the only Stormlight I've read this year it's a huge book it has a great cover mm. it it feels like kind of like right like it just I love Way of Kings it's a very character driven story just the other day I posted my review um I have just 10 minutes to be rambling how much I love this book 5 out of 5 stars it deals with just a lot of um lost very well Caledon was a slave just because of discrimination and um you can see how he just decided he was going to be the best he can be once he met Cell which is his friend, um, no spoilers in this book, and then, no spoilers in this review, um, and it's just, like, he becomes better, and he meets all our, like, characters, our main character was Calvin in this book, I know there's the next one's Shalon, the next one's Dalinar, and this was a great book, I have no complaints about it other than, what did I have, I don't even remember my complaint about it, I'll check my book, what did I say? Um, I mean, yeah, it was that all the characters were very in their own lane, except for the very end, Catelyn and Dallin are kind of meet, but Shellon was always in her own lane. And, um, but other than that, all the stories were great and everything that was great about it. Next book is pretty obvious. Everyone knows I love this book. And I read it in October. Frank Herbert's Dune, number one book on the list. You can't really beat it. Um, I think it's right now. It's it's my favorite book ever. And I don't think see that changing a lot. And it's, I feel like I I want to reread it already. And um, and I can't reread it yet. But one of my first sci-fi's I read, and I'm going to read another sci-fi, The Martian. It's on the shelf right there. Um, but. Frank Herbert's Dune was amazing. Everything they did right. They discussed everything like like the character falls Paul Atreides, who is the heir to the throne, the Duke. The heir to the Duke. And they moved from their home planet Kaladin, which also happens to be the main character of Way of Kings. But the same planet is called Kaladin. And they moved to Arrakis, which is um a desert planet and then they just get rid of the culture and then Paul eventually becomes um Duke and then and the Baron Harkonnen was just the bad guy and everything they did right they did um, amazing and um I honestly was shocked how much I like this book I mean it, it looks cool that's why I picked it up and I know it was a classic but I didn't expect me to love it that much I just picked up the first graphic novel in the Dune series, and it reminds me, it reminded me how much I had fun reading this book. And, um, if you love sci-fi and fantasy, because it's kind of in between, you'll like it. There's a really, like, he does something creative, Frank Herbert, and not, he doesn't rely on his technology. When he sets up technology to be the villain in this book, AI, um, and, um, it shows you just how much, like, look at the Balerian Jihad, um, and it just had so much of that stuff, and I really liked it. And I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I would give it more. Um, it was amazing. And I definitely recommend you reading it. So, those are my favorites of the year. And I hope to have some more favorites next year. And I'll see you in the next book. Next video. In this next book.